we have so much news coming this week, but I'm just waiting on a couple things to close up. And by the end of the week, we'll be announcing uh, a couple really big items. So hang tight. I know you guys know what's going on on probably both accounts, but for today, I'm talking about the uh, White Buffalo. And let me take you guys back to the beginning. As you guys all know, I bought White Buffalo, my 2015 Ram 3500 Mega Cab four wheel drive from my dad. And I think I've had it in my possession for two, almost, no, about three years now. I don't know, somewhere in there. And the truck has been extremely reliable. It, uh, it did kill a transmission as soon as I tuned it, what do you know? And then uh, it's had a Suncoast built transmission in it ever since. It just hit 103,000 miles. It did just have the transmission refreshed while we were on our way to Houston. We dropped it off at Suncoast and they put their updated uh, junior comp transmission in it, I believe. So it literally has a brand new transmission. And the, the Cummins 6 7 has held up fantastic. So, as you guys saw on my Instagram post, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It's at Garrett underscore 1320 video. I, I asked the other day, hey guys, I have a problem. As you guys know, we have the new trailer, the Wedge trailer. Well, because White Buffalo is a mega cab, it has a short bed. And with the short bed, if you put the, the wedge trailer on and you turn real tight, the trailer will actually swing and hit the cab. Well, if you let that happen, that's a solid, I don't know, five to $10,000 project probably to put a, a new cab on a, on a truck like that. And I don't want that to happen. I've had to avoid it and you know not be able to turn sharp with the trailer before, but honestly, I usually end up just borrowing Justin's trailer, JH. And also guys, I am completely aware of the uh, special hitches you can get that move the uh, trailer back in the bed, but, and, and we got one, but I'm telling you, it's only a temporary fix because if you have the truck at full lock and you go over a curb or something, it's still close enough that in the right circumstance, it could hit the cab. I post on my Instagram, hey, should I do a long bed conversion on White Buffalo or should I sell White Buffalo and just get a new Ram with a new high output Cummins and the Eisen transmission and just get a long bed? And I got a lot of good responses. You know, it was probably 50-50 of people saying, you know, a lot of people were saying, do the conversion, it looks sick. You put a long bed on a mega cab. They actually chop the frame add 21 inches of frame to it and then put the long bed on. So you have a 21 inch longer truck and that thing's already, that's pretty big already for a daily driver. So it'd be huge, but I've heard good things about it. And, uh, I've, I, and then a couple people raised some issues that I might run into with it. And then other people were like, just get a new truck. You'll have a warranty. You know, we go all over the country. We go all the way to California. We go all the way to Maryland. It's, definitely a good thing to have a reliable truck. So everyone was like, get something with a warranty, something that you can get parts for anywhere. And after thinking about it, I really did want to do the conversion, but um, a couple of the issues that were raised, and I don't know if these are real solid or anything. Some people were saying the drive shaft is really long and you know, if you're really ripping it, which we end up doing sometimes, you can have some issues there. And you know, you're extending the frame rail so that can play with the value of the truck. It can go up or down. I'm not 100% sure how, if it helps or not. It's not horribly expensive to do. I, I had some people tell me $7,000, which it's a lot of money to just put into a truck that already has 100,000 miles. So I am swinging to the route of getting a new truck. And the best part is, Senor James, our brother James, he needs a new truck. So him and I have come to an agreement that I am going to sell White Buffalo to James. So he has a truck that is proven to be an amazing truck, has a brand new transmission. It is good to go. There's literally nothing he needs to do to it. I'm gonna get it clean. Everything's in great condition. There's one dent on a fender from uh, when we lived at our old house and there was a bus stop. Some kid hit it with a bat or something. I don't know. It's It's like, a PDR guy could remove it, painless dent removal. So James is going to get white buffalo, and then I ordered a 
new Ram 3500. It's a 3500 crew cab long bed. It's got the automatic rear level suspension and it's got a 50 gallon fuel cell. It's actually 55 and a half gallons of fuel on board. So definitely a way better truck all around for long distance stuff. And uh, we're really excited. So that thing will be here in about two months and we'll we'll make a video picking it up and stuff. It was definitely bad timing with getting the track and then, you know, sooner and later we have a C8 coming. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna be good to go. We just gotta be smart. But this truck is a tool for the business. So I'm excited and James is getting a new truck. So that's the update on that. White Buffalo is going to buy, but uh, not leaving the family. And stay tuned for much more news coming this week. There's two big things. I think you guys can guess them below. So they're just announcements. They're not things that it's like a secret by any means. But if you guys, you know, keep up on my Instagram, you, you probably know what they already are. Go ahead and try and comment them below. I won't tell you if you're right or wrong, but I, I like to see how, how accurate you guys are with stuff. Usually pretty good. But I'm pumped. New truck coming. Two months or less. And then a C8 after that, dude, it's it's crazy. We're freaking just going at it. We're at the track today, cranking away on some awesome stuff. I can't wait for you guys to see it. We are just going crazy, folks. Working and just having a blast. So thank you guys for watching. Bob Neat, this has been your update with Cleet. We'll see you later.